Dead at the Wall is a drama set in the Hebrides on a, an unnamed island in 1919. It touches on themes of the supernatural, but it also has a, quite a tender love story at its heart. It's a beautifully structured piece which opens with a Kaylee and with one of the characters telling us all a story. <laughs> It is based on a Hebridean folk tale about two sisters, and one sister is jealous of the other. It's about a sister who is so consumed by jealousy that, without giving the plot away, it all goes horribly wrong at the very end. We join it when one of the Mackenzie sisters has come home, having lived down in London for many years, and her return sets off a prophecy uh, which is happening in the mind of their brother, Uishin. In the rehearsal, I've been underscoring, trying to work out all the pertinent parts of the play that require certain types of music. It's always been quite an ambitious project, which I think is one of the things that drew me to it, but also is one of the things that makes it so exciting, um, both in the scale of the world of the play and the amount of history and culture and politics it takes in, um, as well as the production itself. My brief was to design uh, the show to tour the Highlands and Islands. It had to be very honest and authentic. One of the beauties of the play is that it has been designed so that it's not venue specific, it fits into a wide variety of spaces. The tour was an absolute gift. What we want to do is take that magic that we found this piece inspires it in people in the islanders and in people in cities as well and bring that to more audiences. I've really been blown away by the response we've had from all our audiences. Uh, even you know the technical staff in the theatres have come up to us and told us how much they've loved it. There was one place, um, as you said, it was the best show that they've had there in 30 years. It's a play that lots of people can relate to. You don't have to be from an island, you don't have to be Scottish. You have to come and see the show. It's a, an absolutely beautiful piece and I'm very proud of it. In the play, Elspeth's character mentions that she had big plans as a child and I think we've now got big plans for this play.